is Lieutenant General Pete Osman, and uh, he is from uh, Toys for Tots. And uh, Lieutenant General, good morning. Good morning, Bill. How are you? Good. Uh, I want you to know that uh, we are in the midst of a toy campaign here, and we're working with a, a local group, um, uh, Operation Sunshine, and with the Marine Corps League and Toys for Tots. And, oh, great. Uh, we're Good very, news. Thank you. Very pleased to support you guys. Let's talk about, um, if we could, the uh, first, the, just the history of how the Marine Corps League and the Marines got involved with, uh, with Toys for Kids. Sure. Uh, back in 1947, a uh, young Marine major named Bill Hendricks in Los Angeles, California, got together with his Marines and his unit and decided they were going to collect some toys that Christmas and uh, give them to less fortunate children. So uh, they collected about 5,000 toys and on Christmas Eve and in their dress blues delivered those toys to war orphans and other less fortunate children in the Los Angeles area. Thus began the Marine Toys for Tots program. Uh, good news travels fast and uh, Commandant of the Marine Corps, when he heard about this, said, "Wow, what a what a great uh, what a great community initiative! A great way for the Marine Corps to continue to work together with communities." And he he directed that in 1948, every reserve unit would conduct a Toys for Tots campaign. So yeah. in 1948, there were 74 campaigns across the country, and since then, the program has continued to grow to include things like the Marine Corps League and other community organizations. Uh, one of the reasons that we really were excited, first of all, um, you, you can't, you can't go wrong in, uh, in aligning with the Marines, right? I don't think there's absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, there, there's no, uh, there's no mistake there. Uh, so, but I think one of the keys for us is a lot of people do cash donations and the beauty is that the buying power that the Marine Corps league with toys for tots has is just uh, no one can touch that we can't touch it and so uh, we end up by giving to the marine corps league and giving to toys for touch we end up giving more to kids the dollar goes further it, it really does uh, it, most most of the the uh, local campaigns uh you know collect a good bit of cash we also from the foundation push cash down to the local campaigns encouraging them you know to go to the the local department stores toy stores and buy toys in bulk and it's mm -hmm. amazing uh you know what a great deal you can get when you walk in with twenty thousand dollars and say you know need a lot of toys and yeah, right. uh, you can get some great deals and that's what they're able to do so you're absolutely right definitely able to stretch the dollar a good yeah. bit farther uh, we do want to say that uh, the toys uh, toys are us is uh, Toys for Tots' number one corporate sponsor. It's been that way for the last, uh, I don't know, close to 15 years. And uh, they've raised $48 million and collected more than $4 million worth of toys for Toys for Tots. And they offer an incentive. Uh, so to buy there is a... Uh, I mean, what other corporate sponsors do you have? It, that That's what really makes the difference with Toys for Tots. It, it does, and, and you're absolutely right. Toys R Us has been our number one corporate sponsor now for nearly 15 years. They do a great job for us, having helped raise uh, nearly $50 million. So tremendous support from uh, from Toys R Us. But other corporate sponsors that we've had over the years, uh, Disney has been with us literally from the very beginning. Uh, we've gotten great support from uh, from Scholastic, Hasbro, uh, you know, a, a number of the, uh, you know, Build-A-Bear, a lot of the, mm -hmm. obviously, toy corporations and whatnot, uh, we've had wonderful uh, corporate relationships with. And, um, you know, one thing that I, and I'd like you to talk about this, we're talking to Lieutenant General uh, Pete Osman uh, from Toys for Tots uh, National. One thing that I, I would um, I, I would ask you is, do we sometimes forget about a certain demographic when we're out getting uh, getting things for kids? Bill, that's true. Uh, in fact, uh, most of the buys that we actually execute here at the national headquarters are for that particularly hard to shop for group, and that's usually the preteens, early teens. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, oftentimes, when people are out shopping and they think toys for tots, they're thinking of the you know the Little three kids. to eight year yep. old. And uh, so you know we continue to encourage folks don't forget the older children. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we take a, a, a real effort here at the uh, at the national headquarters to make sure that we we take care of those children as well. All right, I, I just want to mention the toy drive that we're part of, Operation Sunshine, and a lot of great folks at the OD, Time Warner Cable. Of course, New York Sash is involved in that with the teddy bear toss and then the Toys for Tots. I just want to shout out to uh, Jim Ransom and Mike and Susan Mills, who are the Toys for Tots reps locally, and they do really do a great job. So, uh, Great folks. 
I, the, the, great to hear the, uh, the 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 initiative and the effort and the visibility that the uh, the local campaign has in your area. That's great. Uh, listen, uh, we uh, Lieutenant General Pete Osman, thank you for your service, and that's uh, be, uh, before and after retirement. So uh, uh, this is a great thing that you guys do, and a great thing you're doing, and, and we thank you so much. Bill, thank you for your support and to your listeners. Thank you very much for your past support, and keep keep helping us. We need it. All right, Lieutenant General Pete Osman, thanks so much.